And this is Vlogmas Day 3. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a Christmas intro. First things first, I'm going to open up Safari to look up Christmas backgrounds. Scrolling just to see which one I like. Okay. So I decided on this one, so I'm just going to press it and add it to my photos. And now I'm going to search up Christmas red backgrounds because I want to have a transition. You can choose whichever one you like. I like this one at the top here, so I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna add it to my photos. So I'm gonna go into Fonto app here. I'm gonna click on plain images. It's gonna bring up a black and white box. I'm gonna choose the black. I'm gonna click on the top there so I can change the custom size. And I'm gonna use 1280 in the height 720. This is the same size for a thumbnail. I'm gonna hit use. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the first Christmas background I have to this one. I'm just going to resize it here to cover the size of the block. And the way I always check is using alpha so you can lighten it up to see just how much you have to resize it. And I do have to lower the height. But after I get it right there, I click on that little box down there at the bottom with the arrow and save the image. Then I'm going to just go back into my photos after the promotion stop playing and do the red background the same way. Okay, after that, I'm going to open up iMovie. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to click Movie here. And I'm going to choose that first Christmas background. And it moves without you. So you have to disable the Ken Burns at the top here so it won't move. So I did that. I'm just going to go in and do the red the same way. So when you play it, you can actually see it transitioning to the red from the first one. So that's exactly how I wanted it. Now I'm going to go back in Safari here to look for some Christmas lights for the green screen. I chose these here. So I saved it, screen recorded it, and I'm going to go ahead and just click the three dots at the right and hit green screen. And it automatically makes them transparent, so I like that. Okay, and next I added the music on there. So I just screen recorded the music as well. I'm just going to resize the music, make sure it's the same limit as the video. After that, I'm going to hit that arrow again with the box, and I'm going to save the video. Now, for a picture that I want to use, I'm just going to go into the eraser app, go back into my intro pics I have. I'm just going to choose a picture. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to erase the background. So, as you can see, I'm just trying to erase as much of the background I can. And at the bottom there, when it says width, you can make the eraser button smaller so you can get the edges and then make it bigger for the bit spots so i'm just erasing as much of the background as i can and don't worry if you make a mistake it has the back arrow at the top and it will erase your previous move
Okay, so all done. So I'm just going to save it to my photo album there. And I'm just going to go back and do the same thing for this photo. Okay, so after that one's done, I'm just going to save it. And next, I'm just going to go back into Safari so I can look up Christmas social media icons. So I like the ones here with the Santa hats. There are a lot of different ones you can choose, but I like this one. So I'm just going to save it to my photos. And I'm going to go back into that eraser app. And I'm just going to erase all of the icons I'm not going to use, so I'm going to start with the YouTube one first. And I'm basically going to go on around the edges to erase all of the background on this one. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and save the icon here to my photo album. And as you can see, inside my intro album pits there, I have all the ones I have already done. Okay, you guys. So we're going to click on Video Leap. And we're going to click on the plus sign to add that 10 second video I made in iMovie. First thing first, we're going to add a title here. So I'm just going to put Ma the author. I'm going to go to stroke and I'm going to move that width to six. Just so you can see it on that white background there. And at the bottom here, you can change the different font. Whatever font you want, you can change it at the bottom. I like the hints up, so I'm just going to add the rest of my title here. You get to pinch it and move it. However you like, just to get it right on the background there. So I'm just moving it around. And also, at the bottom, you can hit the animation. So you can choose how you want it to come in. I just imported one of the pictures I erased using the eraser app. So that's using the animation there. So... Decide if I want to fade it in or spin. You can choose how fast and how slow you want it to go. Also, you see how the name is going into the red background? I don't want that. So the little phone there, you can move it back. So I've changed it to one second. So I can go ahead and put my social media icons there. And I'm going to go ahead and add text to my icons as well. Again, I hit stroke and change it to sit with. Use animation to choose how I want it to come in. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add the Instagram icon. So I'm just basically repeating adding the animation on there and adding the text again i'm gonna change the stroke to six i'm gonna keep it black there i'm just dragging it smaller 
to match the other one. Okay, then I'm gonna go back and hit mixer again so I can add another photo that I erase in the eraser app. Just gonna pinch it and size it however I want. I'm also use some animation to see how I want it to come in. Okay, same thing. I clicked on the mixer tab to open up my photo album to get my TikTok icon. I'm just sizing it here. I'm going to add text. And same thing as before, I'm going to go to stroke and change my width to 6. And my color is going to be black. Okay, I'm gonna go back into my photo album and I'm gonna grab my YouTube icon. Just gonna size it here and then I'm gonna add text. Also, using a little animation. I'm gonna go back into my photo album and I'm gonna grab that second picture that I had erased already. Okay, at the bottom, I'm gonna hit sticker and that's how I find my YouTube subscribe button. And I'm so sorry I did the same thing for Snow, but for some reason it didn't record it. So I'm just gonna choose which one I wanted. And as you can see the background there, and I'm just gonna save it to 1080 for high quality and that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time bye